All right, y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, we're taking a look at some more emergency vehicles. It's going to be mostly fire units, and this time it's from Slovakia. So it's going to be uh, really interesting. They're responding to a wildfire, so this is kind of out in the hills, it looks like, more of like a sort of rural location, uh, and I'm excited for it. It comes to us from this channel, which I'll show you. I am not going to attempt uh, to pronounce it. I'm sorry. I, I'm just, I know I'm going to butcher it, so I'll show you. And uh, it is from this channel right here. Now, this will be linked in the description down below so you can check them out. And, of course, watch this video uninterrupted. And this was uh, suggested multiple times on Discord from Andre uh, J. So thank you so much for that. Let's get to it. All right, first up, we have this Aveco unit. Ooh, I like the color scheme on this one. This is interesting. It's like a heavy duty. You see the? it's like a dually with the big... Um, industrial like front tires and rims or wheels interesting wow i've never seen an aveco quite like that it's like a heavy duty truck like a one ton dually you'd see here in the u.s but it's wrapped in that aveco body interesting i kind of like it And uh, yeah, it looks like some sort of wildfire or something in the hills. Beautiful area though. Minus the smoke, of course. Oh, listen to that beast. That is indeed a Tatra. Yeah, if you don't know by now, I think most of you know. I'm a, I have become such a super fan of them. Look at the way this thing looks. Look at the way it sounds. Bravo. gonna be a tough fit geez look at all the, <laughs> all the freaking tires on this thing this thing is a beast oh it's one of the coolest vehicles on earth anything tatra makes it seems like is just so good yeah they are having a little bit of trouble sneaking around this though this thing is big Look at they're jumping up on this curve here. Not a problem for that thing though. Can you imagine driving this thing? Oh, that would be awesome. Jeez, that thing is just gorgeous. I could watch that all day. <laughs> I could watch that all day. Look at this little, what is this? I always point out weird cars, you know me? I think that almost looks like the Fiat logo from here, but I can't tell. Funny little car. Definitely little compared to the Tatras, huh? <laughs> So we got all blues. I like the red, yellow, and gold uh, color scheme. Uh, they really loud sirens, but they're they're pretty interesting cadence. I like it. And uh, look, the fleet of Tatras, even at first Aveco, pretty awesome fleet, if I do say so myself. This is a, this Tatra is more, uh, that, I guess you could say, normal size. It's still big, but that other one was just huge. Yeah, they got it through a little bit easier. It's such a great sound. Really interesting area. Anyone know or maybe is familiar with this area? Oh, look at this. We have like an unmarked, well, at least no decals and no like reflective patterns and stuff. We have an unmarked uh, some sort of police unit here or perhaps fire department unit. Is that this? And now remember, I'm not big or I'm not an expert on a lot of these EU brands, especially or a lot of these European brands, I should just say, um, especially ones that aren't sold in the U.S. I believe that's a Seat, right? Which kind of like, they're basically Volkswagen cars underneath. Yeah. A Seat Leon. Leon, I don't know. Kind of a cool looking car, actually. 
Look at that. What uh, an, an otherwise beautiful countryside. Unfortunately, up in uh, smoke, that's not good. No one likes to see that at all. I hope everyone's all right in that area. Got more units showing up. This is an Aveco, a big one. Great sound on this thing, wow. It's going to be a tight fit for this thing too. That one's wide. And it's always fascinating for me to see and learn about different countries, regions, languages. Like this language I'm seeing, you know, quite obviously, I don't know. I know it's obviously Slovakian. I just don't know. I wouldn't even begin to know how to like say these or pronounce these, right? It's very cool to see because it's so different than what I'm used to. Uh, but I'm also just, I, I wouldn't even know how to attempt to say these, you know, I'm, be, I'm being honest. So I'm just afraid I would butcher it, right? And I don't want to do that. Like when I see that, that looks like policia, right? Because in Spanish, that would be policia. And so I've seen that, you know, at the border, like in Mexico, that's what it says on the cars and on their shirts. But that is probably pronounced different because I, you know, 99.9% .9 sure they don't speak Spanish primarily in Slovakia. So you see what I'm saying? Now what truck is this? Is that the freaking Skoda logo? What? No way. What? That's freaking awesome. I'm going to go off on a limb here and say that looked older, but it was in great shape. Could be brand new. I, I think it looked older. It was really cool, though. Look at that thing. I, I'm sure people have said it. I get so many comments. I, I lose track when I'm trying to learn about so many things at once. I just, at least in this moment, I had forgotten or at least, you know, didn't know that Skoda made big trucks like this. What? When I think of Skodas, right, I think of how much I have grown to like that brand as well. And I, you know, I really think of their rally cars and like, you know, Skoda Octavias and, um, God, see, I'm even blanking on their cars now. But I, like, I think of their cars and their station wagons and their hatchbacks. I, I don't think of this, right? Wow, that is cool. What a surprise. <laughs> that was a cool truck. Nice. Smaller version of that. Well, I guess kind of like that Aveco we saw in the beginning. Yeah, maybe about the same size, I suppose. Lots of uh, folks filming the occasion. Wonder if they're just independent, you know, people with like YouTube channels or Facebook pages. Maybe their news crew, I, I'm really not sure, but it's cool to see. Looks like a beautiful day out. I mean, everyone's in t-shirt and shorts. You know, in this area, does it get hot in Slovakia in the summer? Or is it pretty mild climate? You know, what are we thinking there with the weather? Another bizarre looking truck, what is this? Well, I am not sure. I don't see a logo on this one. It does say, like, what's that, Liaz? Uh, I, I want to say that Skoda truck said that too. I don't know. Very interesting. And another one of these old Skoda trucks. I hope these are Skoda, by the way. I hope I'm not totally seeing that wrong. And then you're like, what the hell is he talking about? I'm pretty sure that's a Skoda logo, right? Damn, it sounds cool. Look at these things. I love them, man. These things are in great shape if they are old. And if they're new, then they're new, but they have a retro design. But I'm pretty sure these are old. They're just in excellent condition, in, in, in my opinion. Looks really neat, dude. 
great sound on these. Wow. Yo, what a good fleet. I'm going to cut it there. There's a little bit more of this left, and I did skip a section prior. So, yeah, please check that out, the link down there. That was a great video, man. Uh, beautiful countryside. Hopefully, they got that fire put out and everyone was safe. Uh, really cool uh, fleet they had, you know. I, I, I've, The Tatras make me drool. Like, the Tatras were just amazing. Uh, and I got to say that, you know, the Vecos featured here were actually pretty cool and quite different than most of Vecos I've seen thus far. And then these were the biggest surprise, these Skoda trucks. I mean, I don't know. I This is a great video for comments. If you would like to educate me down there, I do appreciate that. This was really fun. This was a good one. I, I, I liked this. Slovakia, great job with the fire crew. This was a cool uh, variety of trucks here. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Please throw a thumbs up on there if you did enjoy this as much as I did. And, of course, subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here keep your awesome suggestions coming in comments on discord wherever you want to reach me uh, i do appreciate it as always my name is ian you're watching iw rocker and until next time y'all catch you later